So this tutorial will show you how to take simple PowerPoint slide decks. Uh, even if you have uh, information in Word or PDF, you can always move it over, copy paste it into a series of PowerPoint slides. What we'll do is actually go through the slides in real time and record our audio narration. So if you want to give your students that little bit of a flavor, including your voice, your voice intonation, uh, this is a great feature and it's not that difficult to use. So start by opening up your PowerPoint slideshow click at the top on the menu item called slideshow and record slideshow. Now make sure that you have a reasonable microphone and, and any microphone really will do. You don't have to go out and get a hundred dollar one. Uh, a few dollars, four or five dollars at the dollar store uh, or upwards of a ten, twenty dollar one that fits on your head uh, would be fine. So make sure that's plugged in and it is able to record audio. Uh, click on record slideshow at the top and on the top left of this screen click record and wait for the countdown now as you proceed through the slide or backwards forwards doesn't matter uh, whatever you're saying will actually be recorded and will be stuck right within the file so you can also use these kind of highlighters or pen tools to highlight things on your screen as you go uh, keep in mind certain animations or transitions might not come through the way you thought but that's that's okay I mean we don't want to overload it with stuff either so let me um, start an example Okay, everybody, welcome to the first session about e-recruitment uh, related to the main topic of HRMS. Uh, as you know, the standard staffing model looks something like this, and a weird computer flashes across the screen. Um, so what you would do is you would go forward with all the slides, kind of talk about what it is that you want to talk about, and when you're finished, go to the top left and click Stop. And if it takes a little while, so if you took, you know, try to keep it under 15 minutes, but if you went a bit over, it might take a little bit longer for it to actually stop recording. Now uh, you can do a replay to listen to what you've just done. But when you're done, go to the top right, click on the X, and you'll be back to your presentation. So what I'm going to do is click on File, top left, Save As, Make sure you go to a spot where you know it's going to be. I usually go to the desktop uh, and then give it a good name. So I'm going to call this Ecruitment Audio. That'll separate it from my non-audio PowerPoint deck. And choose the type as MPEG4 Video. Click it and click Save. And give it some time. It might take upwards of 15, 20, or even 30 minutes for it to um, uh, be ready. So when you see the item on your desktop, and it is not actually playing properly just give it some time don't worry about it um, and when you come back you click on it, it plays like a video you're good to go now once the video is ready like I have one ready here what you do is you go to my Seneca go to any course where you'd like to put the video find a space you'd like to put it so I want to put it let's say under Tableau I click it and do build content video right so you already have the video you can insert it right in again don't make it so large like an hour or two hours if you want to talk for an hour that's fine just split them into 10 to 15 minute segments remember your users don't want to sit there watch a large video uh, but giving them a little bit of a pause between videos would be nice and what i usually like to do is when i go to video i'll call it e, e recruitment i will then browse my computer go to my desktop and find my video about e-recruitment and make sure it's the audio version and I will click open and if it takes a bit of time just be patient uh, I'm gonna keep the original dimensions I don't want it to auto start it will not loop and I'm not gonna align it to any sort of content so it is being used I'm not gonna expire at any point but you could I'm gonna click submit and let's see what it looks like okay let's take a look it's down here it's that simple I have a video it is right there and when students go to it they can actually click play and it will play one, two, three. as originally intended now um, you can allow the students to download the video which is not a bad idea they can download it and if you want a full transcript what I recommend in fact what I would do is just above it I would summarize what's in the video set up some context of what they're gonna be seeing uh, and also maybe have a full transcription as a PDF as an attachment here or just summarize the notes below okay 
that is how you get videos on to my Seneca and how to create some. Now, if you're teaching a software course, that's a whole different thing. Have a look at some links that I've given you uh, and you can record the screen, explain various aspects of the software and upload it to YouTube just the way we just did. Now, there is a feature in Outlook. If you click on the top left button and you go to an app called Stream, it'll actually allow you to put your video not in my Seneca, but on that Stream feature and actually it'll transcribe the notes for you uh, quite easily. And you can just put the link on my Seneca. So several options available for you. OK, don't be afraid. Use it. Uh, it's not a bad thing. It's a certain alternate to doing live audio and the students just might appreciate it that little bit more. Mm -hmm.